Bowman here at BW1.com and I'm going to give you a preview tour of Windows Mobile 6.5 beta. So let's get started. So the first screen you see here is a lock screen and at the bottom you have your date and time and at the top you have your slide lock. You just highlight the slide lock like this, go to the left or to the right and you go all the way to the side, unlocks it and brings you to the new today screen. The new today screen in Windows Mobile 6.5 is very similar to the Microsoft Zoom interface so you can actually uh, use a little highlight bar and scroll up and down to the different options or you can click on the screen and scroll the options up and down through the highlight bar and each one of these options has something different that you can choose within the options so you can start off here at pictures you can actually scroll left and right through your pictures and if you actually want to choose that picture you choose this one here you actually tap on it and it brings the picture up if you music here and your music does the same thing. You can actually scroll left and right between your music. It uses Windows Media Player, um, I think it's 10, so it's not the newest one yet. I'm, I'm assuming once Windows Mobile 6.5 becomes final, they're gonna have a new media player on there. But if you actually wanna play the song, just click on the song. Just tap on it like that. It starts playing the music right from the um, today's screen. You can tap it again to stop. Next tab here is the phone. You can have your um, missed calls and call history right in here. You can slide between that as more calls come in. You have your contacts and your view right here at the bottom. Each one of these options changes what the left and right soft key have for options as well. You have your voicemail. You have your um, date and time here. And this also is your alarm clock and your different time zones, time zone options when you click inside of it. It's your text messages. This allows you to scroll through your text messages and also gives you who sent it and a bit of a snippet of a preview what that text message was. Same thing for email and calendar is the same thing too. Scroll left and right through your appointments and such and you can create a new appointment right from your screen. And your favorites here at the bottom is related to Internet Explorer. So you can scroll through here and you can click on which one you want and it'll take you right to there. So that's pretty much the new today screen. And what else is new is the start menu here if you look at the top. If you go to the start menu at the top it actually brings out a honeycomb interface very similar to the photos that you've been seeing on online if you've been looking online in Windows Mobile 6.5 you've seen this kind of honeycomb style interface for your programs and all the options inside and you just have to tap on it and it brings you to those options and the back buttons down here the bottom here the lock button here so if you actually want to unlock the, unlock the phone you just hit that icon there I have to imagine when you get the final build of Windows Mobile 6.5 that icon is actually going to get moved someplace closer to the today's screen so that you can easily access it. And you have your typical options here. You have Windows Live built in, Office Mobile. You can scroll up and down, you have your calculator and stuff like that. And all you have to do is highlight an option, click it, and it opens it up. Just like you, you just like uh, Windows Mobile from previous generations. So you can start off here with uh, File Explorer, for example. Click on File Explorer, it opens up. As you notice, it looks a little bit different. One, one of the big things you'll notice is a nice uh, kind of blue highlight bar here. It kind of gives you a better idea of what you're selecting. So if you click on it, you can see that you can see what you're clicking on and you can scroll right here on the side. Your finger scroll up and down as well. Gives you a nice big scroll icon here. And if you click menu, you get nice big uh, finger friendly options. You can scroll through here as well. That's kind of the thing with Windows Mobile 6.5. It's supposed to be more one-handed use friendly, more finger friendly, bigger buttons, easier access options. It's kind of the main thing for Windows Mobile 6.5 as I've been going through it. And we'll click actually over to Internet Explorer and test that out. And one of the nice things about the new Internet Explorer is let's actually go to a web page we can see. So we'll go to bw one that page. This is an Internet Explorer Mobile 6 beta, so we'll see how it loads up. And it's loading up. I can show you here at the bottom icons, you have your sort of your quick access keys here at the bottom, kind of similar to Opera Mobile. You have your stop and back key. That'll change according to what the browser is doing. You have your favorites. You have your keyboard. Highlight that. Keyboard pops up. Highlight it back. Keyboard pops down. Obviously, it's got some bugs and twitches within the um, system because it's just a beta build. You have your zoom key, allows you to zoom in and out of the uh, web page. Let's bring that back up here. Click zoom, allows you to zoom in, 
I'll just zoom out when the web page is loaded. Obviously, it's taking its time to load because it's still in an Explore 6 beta, so it's not fully, fully finished yet, and there's still a lot of bugs within it. And if you click this icon here on the right, it brings up your finger friendly uh, options right here on the side. So, okay, now that's loaded up, should be zoom a little bit better. Looks like the zoom doesn't want to work considering this is loading everything up so that's basically it for Internet Explorer also if you click on the actual screen there it'll remove it remove all the uh, menus and it'll give you a full screen view of it if you click this bottom icon it brings all that information back see if we get the zoom to work and there you go there's the zoom zoom in and scroll up let's just zoom in and hit back here and let's zoom out. All right, so let's just exit here. And as if you notice in most of the menu screens, it also kind of pops out at you. It's sort of like kind of sits, kind of sits on top of the screen instead of being flat. It kind of pops out, has like a little shadow on the back of it to make it more noticeable. But other than that, that is pretty much what you see with Windows Mobile um, 6.5. It's kind of uh, nothing else has really has changed. It's kind of sort of a skinning and a kind of a more of a user and user UI enhancement to Windows Mobile 6.6.6.1 6 rather. It's kind of enhancing that in 6.5. So it, you're not going to get it. So you're not going to get really a change in the core. Rather, that's what I'm trying to say. You're not really going to get a change in the core operations of the operating system. I think we're not going to get that to Windows Mobile 7. So for now, 6.5 is going to be a nice sort of user interface, more friendly, easier to access upgrade, and Windows Mobile 7 will be the core change. So, this is Bowman from BW1.com. I'm giving you a preview tour of Windows Mobile 6.5 Beta. Can't wait to see what it's going to be when we finally get the final build and these start shipping on devices in the fall. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition.